a lower respiratory tract disorder caused to the lungs tissues bronchus bronchi and bronchioles mostly their passageways and whole of the lungs are being attacked by the lung cancers so therefore it is said that uh, uh, that develops in the lung tissues it is what a malignant tumor what is mean by a malignant tumor we will discuss about it but before that we have to talk about tumor and the its types then there uh, the word malignant tumor will tumor will become clear to you people so uh, one of the thing which have to be discussed here that is oncology oncology is going to be discussed here first oncology is what this is a word which is made of two parts oncus and locus this is made of two greek words oncus means tumor that means tumor and locus means study so we can define it as the study or branch that deals with the study of tumor basically what is tumor there is a form of cancer tumor is a form of cancer now we are going to talk about the cancer or tumor first then then after that we will be able to talk about the lung cancer what is a cancer cancer is basically an abnormal growth and abnormal increase in the size and number of the cells of a particular organ of the body that is called as cancer whenever there is an abnormal increase in the size and an abnormal increase in the number of the cells in a particular organ of the body it is called as cancer or it results in an outgrowth which is called as tumor so tumor is what that is a form of cancer whenever this is caused in the lungs then it is called as lung cancer or lung cancer carcinoma so basically study of cancer or study of tumor is called oncology because oncus is a greek word which means tumor means cancer okay for that usually this cancer is caused by different ways and means it may be caused by different chemicals different rays and radiations and it may also be caused by a, a gene which uh, is being attacked by mutation whenever mutation takes place in the genes it also causes cancer in the body so those genes which are responsible for the cancer are called as oncogenes the genes responsible for the cancer being caused in the body are called as oncogenes so the oncogenes may also re, uh, be responsible for the cause of the cancer in the body now further we have discussed that tumor is what a form of cancer and tumor is further of two kinds we will discuss about those two kinds then we will be able to uh, uh, become clear about the malignant tumor the word malignant tumor so here tumor is what tumor is a uh, or cancer i have told you that cancer or tumor is an abnormal increase in the size and number of the cells so here two words are used whenever we talk about the increase in size of the cell it is called hypertrophy hypertrophy and whenever we talk about the increase in number of cell it is called as hyperplasia so hypertrophy and hyperplasia abnormal growth in uh, size and abnormal increase in number of cells results in the cause of outgrowth like tumors are results in the cause of cancer now these tumor which are caused by the hypertrophy and hyperplasia are further of two kinds the tumors are further of two kinds one of the tumor is called as benign tumor that is called as benign tumor and the other one is called as malignant that is called as malignant tumor 
Now what is meant by benign tumor and malignant tumor? The first one, benign tumor is that kind of tumor which is localized to some special part or organ of the body. It is not spreadable. While in this case the tumor is what? It is spreadable. It spreads from one organ to the other organ. Means it attacks on one organ of the body, then it spreads and attacks on other organ of the body. So it affects other organs of the body, body as well. In that case, it is called as malignant tumor. So this means that the tumor is of two kinds. Penile tumor is non-spreadable. It is non-spreadable tumor. While malignant tumor is a kind of tumor which is spreadable. It is spreadable kind of tumor. So whenever this malignant tumor spreads in the body, that mechanism or the phenomena or the way to which it spreads, that is called as metastasis. So means it spreads to metastasis or its spreading is called as metastasis. Metastasis. So metastasis then is the spreading of the malignant tumor from one part of the body to the other. So in lung cancer we say that it is what? It is a malignant tumor that develops in the lung tissue. So whenever a malignant tumor is developed into the lung tissue, it is called as uh, uh, lung cancer or lung carcinoma. Now for the, if this lung cancer or tumor attacks or affects a single lung, if it affects a single lung, then it is called, such kind of lung cancer is called as limited. Then it is called as limited lung cancer or limited lung carcinoma. But if the lung cancer spreads throughout the lung and also it affects both of the lungs, in that case, in that case, the lung cancer is called as extensio. It is called as extensio. So the lung cancer may be limited when it attacks a single lung. And it may be extensive when both the lungs are attacked by the lung carcinoma. Now, what are the main causes through which the lung cancer is caused? So one of them, the main cause is the smoking usually. It is said that smoking is the main cause of the lung cancer. Lung cancer is about 70 to 90 percent caused by the smoking. 70 to 90 percent lung cancer is caused by the smoking. Usually non-smokers who are living in a smoking environment, who are living with smokers, they also inhale the smoke along with the air, so they become passive smokers. If they are not active smoker, passive smoker may also be attacked by the lung cancer because, lung cancer because the, those chemicals are inhaled by the um, uh, body, by the person, and when those chemicals reach, reaches the air passageways and the lungs, they cause the lung cancer over there. So this means that the uh, active smoker as well as passive smokers, both of them are attacked by the lung cancer. Uh, other than that, uh, asbestos. Asbestos is another uh, cause of the lung cancer. Similarly, radon gas also causes the lung cancer and polluters found uh, uh, around us in our environment, in our surroundings, also cause lung cancer radiations, highly energetic rays, uh, are also responsible for the causing of mutation in the genes and that thing results in lung cancer. And similarly, other toxic poisonous chemicals are responsible for. So these are the causes of the lung cancer. Smoking, asbestos, radon gas, pollutants, radiations, and other toxic chemicals. These are different causes of the lung cancer. Okay, this is about the causes of the lung cancer. Uh, we are going to talk about two major types of the lung cancer. Throughout the world, uh, if you look at the uh, situations uh, of the lung cancer which are caused to the people of the world, you may found two major forms of the lung cancer. There are two main types, two major types of the lung cancer. One is called a small cell lung cancer or small cell lung carcinoma. And another, another one is called as non-small cell lung cancer or non-small cell lung carcinoma. It is abbreviated as SCLC and this one is NSCLC. Now it depends upon the size of the cells 
which are forming uh, during the cancer. So in this case, small cells, usually small cells are involved in the cause of the lung cancer. Usually the cells which are found here, in the case of small cell lung cancer, they are microscopic and small. While in this case, the cells are, as compared to the small cell lung cancer, the cells here are larger in size. So here, the cells are larger. So depending upon the size of the cells being involved in the lung cancer, there are two kinds. One is small cell lung cancer and the other one is uh, the uh, non-small cell lung cancer or lung carcinoma. Further, it is said that the small cell lung cancer is caused about 15 to 20 percent uh, throughout the world and the lung cancer which is non-small cell lung cancer that is about 80 to 85 percent. So 80 to 85 percent lung cancer is non-small cell lung cancer. So this means the ratio of the non-small cell lung cancer is uh, more as compared to the small cell lung cancer. But it must be noted that the small cell lung cancer is more aggressive and that spreads more faster. It is more aggressive form, more aggressive form of the lung cancer and it spreads faster, spreads faster as compared to the non-small cell. So here you can say that it is less aggressive, less aggressive form or less aggressive type of the lung cancer uh, though it is formed in very high ratio in the world, but it is less aggressive and it, uh, as it is said that it is formed in low ratio, less ratio in the world, but it is very more, much aggressive. It's more aggressive as compared to this one. And similarly, this one spreads slowly, spreads slowly, as slowly as compared, as compared as compared to as compared to the SCLC. So this is about the two main kinds of the lung cancers. One is small cell lung carcinoma, the other one is non-small cell lung carcinoma. Now if the uh, lung cancer is caused, whether it is small cell and non-small cell lung carcinoma or cancer, we can recognize it by some special kind of symptoms. There are certain symptoms which are appeared in the patient of the lung cancer or carcinoma and those symptoms are, are listed over here. So the symptoms uh, which are discussed over here, one of them is persistent cough. Whenever the lung is attacked by the cancer or tumor, coughing is caused. The patient starts coughing. Similarly, the coughing with the blood. Along with coughing, blood uh, is released from the body. Similarly, edema or swelling of body parts is caused and itching is caused in the body. And along with that, wheezing. Wheezing is worse whenever a patient coughs and along with that, a whistling sound is produced. So that is called as wheezing and along with that shortness of breath. I have told you in the previous disorders that shortness of breath is also called as dyspnea. Some people call it as dyspnea and some call it as dyspnea. D-Y-S-P-N-E-A, dyspnea. Further, fatigue is caused. What happens to the body? A lot of energy is exhausted. A lot of energy is lost. So therefore, fatigue is caused and weight loss is caused. The weight is lost. And loss of appetite. Uh, appetite is lost. Uh, and along with the difficulty in swallowing. The patient will ever take food. At that time, swallowing causes difficulty. Uh, difficulty in swallowing is caused and chest pain. Chest pain is caused. So these are different kinds of the work, different kinds of the symptoms with the help of which you can recognize the lung cancer to some extent. The lung cancer to some extent. So these are, this is about the uh, discussion symptoms and two kinds of the lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer 
and non-small cell lung cancer. These are the two major kinds. Further, the non-small cell lung cancer is further divided into three or four different kinds. Uh, three main types of non-small cell lung cancer are what? Adeno uh, lung cancer. Adeno lung cancer is that kind of lung cancer when it is attached, uh, when it is caused to the periphery of the lungs. But whenever, whenever the lung cancer is caused into the center, central part or central part tissue, the part squamous cell especially of the lung with the cancer uh, or alveoli, that is then called a squamous cell lung cancer. And if uh, large cells are involved in the cause of the lungs and it is uh, may either be caused in periphery or as well as in the center, then it becomes the third part of the non-small cell lung cancer and that is called as large cell lung cancer or lung carcinoma. So this means non-small cell lung cancer is further of three kinds. One is called as adenocarcinoma or adeno lung cancer, adenocarcinoma. This is first type, this non-small second uh, small cell lung carcinoma may also be uh, uh, of second type that is squamous squamous cell carcinoma squamous cell carcinoma this is second type and the third type of the MSCLC is the large cell carcinoma large cell carcinoma so these are further three kinds of the non-small cell carcinoma further three kinds of non in this case adenocarcinoma Periphery is attack. In this case, squamous cell at the center of the lungs, that is attack. And in large cells, the carcinoma, large cells are formed and it uh, may be caused in periphery as well as in the center. Our whole of the lung is attacked in this case. So there are three kinds of the non-small cell lung carcinoma further. Where, whatever the case may be, it is small cell or non-small cell. These are the symptoms. Whenever these symptoms are appeared, you can diagnose the disease with the help of chest X-ray, the CT scan, and bronchoscopy. These are the ways through which the, the uh, disease may be diagnosed. So once the disease is diagnosed with the help of these methods, what should be done? Treatments must be done. So at last, we are going to talk about the treatments. So one of the treatment is chemotherapy, means treatment with the help of drugs, chemicals, chemotherapy. And along with that combination chemotherapy, remember combination chemotherapy is that kind of chemotherapy in which more than one drug, uh, more than one type of drugs or chemicals are used uh, to uh, treat a kind of disease. So when more than one uh, drugs or types of drugs are used, this is then called as combination chemotherapy. Means when different drugs are used in combination to treat a special kind of disease. So here chemotherapy as well as combination chemotherapy must be used to treat the disease. Other than that, radiotherapy, different kinds of radiations, high energetic radiation rays may also be used in a very controlled way to treat the disease and other than that combination of chemotherapy and radiotherapy in severe cases in advanced cases of the lung cancer we use chemotherapy as well as radiotherapy all together means both chemotherapy and radiotherapy are used in combination and that is then more fruitful as compared to the chem uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy when both are used in combination that is more fruitful and in very severe cases surgery may also be done but one thing which has to be noted here surgery is not usable for the small lung cancer it is used usually uh, done for the non-small cell lung carcinoma here in this case sm uh, small cell lung carcinoma it is a microscopic uh, study and in this case the chemotherapy radiotherapy combination of chemo and radiotherapy these treatments are done for this one but for non-small cell lung cancer or carcinoma all the methods are applied means along with the surgery surgical treatment can also be done and through surgery the uh, tumor or carcinoma is removed from the body so this is about the whole story or discussion on the lung cancer or lung carcinoma if you people have any question you can ask in comment section till next video thank you very much allah hafiz